And just to really drill it in, this is the girl that YouTube's banning for being inappropriate. Mac, you need to accept it's a kindness, be nice to other kids and take the high road and live a peaceful, kind life. You are seriously delusional, but go off with your misogynistic comments. I pity people who troll 13 year olds. I seriously hope no one trick or treats at your house, you sicko. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, make sure you follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at The Rewired Soul. Okay, okay, let me just center myself real quick. I am just flabbergasted at how like literally no other commentary channels are talking about this. Like I'm trying to slow down with how many videos I make, but like once I saw what was popping off on Twitter, I'm like, how is nobody talking about this? So to catch some of you up to speed about the channel Life With Mac. So Life With Mac is a 13 year old girl and she has an ASMR channel with 1.5 million subscribers, all right? So she first popped up on my radar and a lot of other people's radars because YouTube was kind of censoring her content. I believe they were taking some video down, videos down and things like that. And like, I think um, Mac or her mom, something uh, was interviewed by maybe Buzzfeed. It was like interviewing life with Mac about what's happening, right? But YouTube was taking it down because the content was potentially sexual in nature. So I, I originally made a video on that and like I, I just explained like I understand why YouTube was doing that and I feel one of our top priorities should be to protect children, okay? But anyways, anyways, like a lot, a lot of pushback came from Life With Max audience and it's understandable, like that's a weird topic to discuss. So anyway, since then, other commentary channels have discussed what happened with Life With Mac and how YouTube was taking down her videos. A Tozy made a video. So from my understanding of the situation, her mom is green lighting everything that she is posting on her YouTube channel. So if YouTube gives me the trust as an adult to not upload inappropriate content to my YouTube channel, why can't they give the same trust to Mac's mom? So I think like Revzilla made a video, some others made videos on this. But here's what I don't get. I don't get how like while researching this, nobody saw how insane this little girl's Twitter is, okay? I made a video a couple weeks ago where I, here's my theory and I think like, especially after I show you these new tweets, like I think it's Life With Max mom who is on her Twitter account. That's the only thing that makes sense, okay? And like, here's the thing, like either A, the mom is making her daughter look horrible all right, like, and I'm not, I'm not sure how this has not come up. Like if my, if somebody was managing my son's account, like if my son had a YouTube channel, 1.5 million subscribers, sent a thousand people on Twitter, and somebody was managing my son's account and talking all the trash like that, like I'd be like, what are you doing, right? And the other thing is like, if it is this 13 year old girl, like, why is she not being put in check? But anyways, I'm talking too much. Let me let me discuss what was going on today. Um, so this first one, like, this is something that is so touchy that any other adult, if any other adult did this, hell would break loose. Like Philip DeFranco would be talking about it and everything. And here's what it was. It was cultural appropriation. Oh, heck no. How about cultural appreciation? Most of us like slash want what we don't have. I love Asian clothing, such as the Cheong Sam. I adore edges on all women. I try to make my baby hairs as pretty as theirs. Tight curls don't even get me started. So yeah, like cultural appropriation is like a big deal. Personally, I'm half African American. Like I have mixed feelings about it. A lot of people are showing appreciation, but like, I just want you to imagine like if this young woman was like, like, imagine if it was, I don't know, 
No, you don't even have to imagine. Remember when Trisha Paytas, like Trisha Paytas just like braided her hair and people lost their minds, right? And she wasn't even like saying, I'm appropriating and it's okay. But anyways, Life With Mac, if you go check out her Twitter account, she's constantly putting people on blast. And this is also something that no other creator would ever get away with because they're older, right? Like you constantly like, see people like James Charles getting accused of sending their fans at people, but Life With Mac is constantly pe putting people on blast. So somebody on Twitter named Xavier um, responded to Life With Mac's like appropriation tweet and she said this, oh sweetheart, they do look good on me. You need to be educated by a 13 year old. Different cultures are not only beautiful, but inspiring. I am not only knocked out by ethnic beauty, I am blown away. It's not quote unquote trendy, it's am it's amazingly beautiful. Back off. Like, I just, I just want you guys to sit back and imagine any other creator doing this. But, it didn't stop. Like, I don't know what's going on because I imagine Life With Mac's mom is just all up on her Twitter, it's like, a Friday night, and I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna get on Twitter and appropriate culture. I got 1.5 million subscribers, they can't do nothing. So one of the things is, people on Twitter tag her and kind of comment on the, you know, sexual nature. So she ended up retweeting this person too, and said, you are seriously delusional, but go off with your misogynistic comments. I pity people who troll 13 year olds. I seriously hope no one trick or treats at your house, you sicko, all right? So accusing somebody of being a pedo. And finally, this last one, I don't know what the history is between them, but it says, good to know I'm still on your radar. Is my mouth still quote unquote moist? Can I eat it in one bite? Am I still a B word? Did I fall into your lap? You are a disgusting human being, and I truly hope you are satisfied with piggybacking off my success. Hey, quick note, I just realized that this is another creator by the name of Pay Money Wubby. Pretty funny dude. But anyways, yeah, he criticized her and she went off on Twitter, but apparently, allegedly, a bunch of her audience, like we're talking about here, sending somebody's audience at somebody, started sending Pay Money Wubby death threats, but Life With Mac denied that. And again, if this is her mother, like, as a creator, we can't just say, no, that's not happening. We need to make a public announcement for precaution to say, yo, if this is happening, that's not cool. Like she has 1.5 million subscribers. So that would be like the mayor of a city saying, no, nobody in my city did that. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, down below is a link to Pay Money Wubby's new video about Life With Mac, as well as A Tozy. So, Okay, <laughs> like, I just, I don't get it. I don't get how nobody is talking about this. Like, this is a 13 year old creator with over 1 million subscribers. And let's talk about this real quick, okay? Like, the original story, like, let's push that off to the side, okay? Like, I do believe children should be protected and sometimes we have to take away what they're doing in order to protect them and it sucks it sucks, but sometimes we have to do it. But now let's just talk about this as a creator, as an influencer. As commentary channels, typically what we're doing is we're looking at bad behavior. What I try to do with my channels, I try to have you guys look at your own life and see what's going on, right? But like in this instance, it's like we're seeing a 13 year old girl who is putting people on blast on Twitter. And if she does have a young audience, she's teaching them that it's okay, right? Like she is an influencer. You see what I mean? And here's what people don't understand. Like I have a friend, I have a friend who constantly talks smack to her mother, okay? Like I have a friend who's my age and constantly talks smack to her mother. I've known my friend since we were like middle school or high school or whatever. And she was always talking smack to her mother. Now, now you know we're in our 30s so she has a son, okay? And her son has watched her continue to talk smack to her mother. And now her son is talking smack to her and she is baffled by it, all right? Like, 
people don't understand what learned behavior looks like, okay? So if this was Life With Mac actually sending these tweets, which I highly doubt, I would be questioning her mother, all right? But as influencers, I just, I do not think with that amount of power, with that amount of people following you, you should be publicly putting people on blast. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if she's getting a pass because she's young. And I'm wondering if her mom knows that, and that's why her mom goes on her Twitter account to publicly put these people on blast. It is just the craziest situation to me, and I had to talk about it in a video, and I might continue doing it until someone bigger than me actually does it, because like, this is not okay. No other creator on earth would be able to do this. If I'm crazy, let me know down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you do, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. If you wanna become a patron, support what I'm doing here, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.